If you recall, for the whole of 2022, prices of private residential properties increased by 8.6%, compared with the 10.6% increase in 2021. Prices edged up 3.9% in the first nine months of 2023 this year, which is a smaller increment compared to the same periods in the previous two years. Has the latest round of cooling measure in April 2023 impacted the momentum of the property market in Singapore? To help us understand more, we have P.K. So from SingaporeProperty.tv with Hutton's, a veteran serving the industry since 2005 to offer more insights. So, PK, is the latest cooling measure finally reigning in the market? Tell us more about what happened this year so far. Thanks, Adam, for having me. In fact, a lot of people will remember 2023 as the year when foreigners are taxed at 60% ABSD for purchasing a residential property, starting from 27th April 2023. The primary objective is meant to stem the flow of hot money to the property market. This is probably the highest tax rate globally that is imposed on foreigners. Singaporeans and permanent residents were not spared either, as the ABSD tax rates on the purchase of a second and subsequent residential property were also raised by between 3% and 5%. Currently, the ABSD for Singaporeans and permanent residents for the second and subsequent residential property is between 20% and 35%. Before the doubling in ABSD tax rate, the estimated proportion of purchases by foreigners was as high as 8.1% in January 2023. After the ABSD tax rate took effect, the proportion has reduced to approximately 1.3% in November 2023. In August 2023, the property market was rocked by another news on the arrests of 10 foreigners suspected of laundering over $2.8 billion where a significant portion was used to purchase properties. This created uncertainties and made owners wary of dealing with buyers or tenants of certain profiles. The core central region was most impacted by these two news as the proportion of purchases by foreigners was higher in the CCR. The estimated number of purchases in the CCR by foreigners dropped from a high of 59 in March 2023 to 10 in November 2023. However, this does not take the shine off the property market which has performed well in spite of these externalities and uncertain economic conditions. Yes, PK. The 60% ABSD on foreigners is indeed shocking. I notice there seems to be more project launches this year compared to 2022. How have these launches performed? Can you give us some numbers on the developer's sales this year in 2023? Where are the better selling regions and what are some of the projects? Good question, Adam. Developers launched an estimated 26 private residential projects and one executive condominium project in 2023, much higher than the 15 private residential projects and three EC projects in 2022. Hutton's data analytics estimate that the number of units launched for sale in 2023 at 7,600. This is less than the original forecast of up to 12,000 units, but nevertheless 67.8% higher than the 4,528 units launched for sale in 2022. An estimated 90% of the units launched are located in the RCR and OCR. Developer sales could end the year between 6,000 and 6,500 units, contrast against a backdrop of economic slowdown, cooling measures, and pent-up demand during the pandemic, which may have been largely satiated. The sales results should be seen as encouraging. Projects in the RCR and OCR dominate the best-selling launches list in 2023, supported by upgrading demand from a robust HDB resale market. The Reserve Residences, an integrated mixed-use project in the heart of Bukit Timah, is the best-selling project in 2023, followed by Grand Dunman and Lentor Hills Residences. Developers closed off 2023 with good sales results in the last three launches. It shows that there is ample liquidity and buyers are confident to buy. Hillock Green along Lentor Central sold more than 130 units at an average price of $2,108 per square foot on launch day. Jaden in the heart of Jurong Lake District moved more than 300 units at a benchmark price of more than $2,400 per square foot.
Watton House is the best-selling project in the CCR since Javois Mansion in 2021, selling 102 units at an average price of 3230 per square foot on the first day of private preview. The strong performance and price points achieved in these three launches may potentially see price growth exceed 1% in Q4 2023. Property prices have increased by 3.9% in the first nine months of 2023 and may grow more than 5% in 2023. The number of unsold units in the market is estimated to be between 17,000 and 17,500 in 2023. It is slowly edging up as developers push out more projects for sale. However, it is way below the peak of almost 38,000 units in Q1 of 2019. I understand you're also very active in the resale segment. How about the numbers here? What could be some of the challenges faced by both the sellers and buyers? Yes, I am also very active in the private property resale segment and have a number of condos and landed properties in the prime districts and D15. The impact of higher interest rate is more keenly felt in the resale market as buyers need to pay the full amount upon sale completion compared to new launches where the payment is paid partially and progressively according to the stages of construction. Resale transaction volume has been on a downtrend since 2022. The resale market is estimated to see around 10,500 units sold in 2023. At this moment, we are pretty much seeing a stalemate between buyers and sellers. As always, buyers are looking to negotiate, thinking that they can get a better bargain during a generally uncertain economy. However, thanks to the years of prudent measures, sellers now have stronger holding power and are not looking to come down too much on their asking prices. If you think about it, it makes sense because the replacement cost for their homes is going to be higher if they were to sell and buy the next one. My advice to buyer is that if you're looking for a so-called fire sale, it is going to be extremely rare. And if you have found something that you like after a long search, as long as the price is reasonable, just go for it. You have heard of Pennywise Pound Foolish. I have seen buyers who have missed many opportunities just because of that. Sellers also need to be realistic on their prices too, especially if the properties are not something that is rare in the market. They have to realize that there is quite a bit of competition out there. All right, before we end this session of Property Insights, what could we be expecting in 2024 and what are your thoughts, PK? In 2024, there may potentially be up to 38 launches with an estimated 11,636 units. This includes a 512-unit EC project, Lumina Grand, at Bukit Batok West Avenue 5, there may be up to 2,968 units launched in the CCR, which is the largest supply since 2021. Some of the potential major launches include Aurea, the former Peace Center and Peace Mansion, Marina View Residences, Newport Residences, and Skywaters Residences. The RCR may see potential major launches at Bukit Tima Link, former Mayor Park, Jalan Tembusu, Marina Gardens Lane, the Arcadi at Boon Kang, and the Hill at 1 North in 2024. There may be up to 3,085 units, which is about 27% less than 2023's launch of more than 4,200 units in the RCR. To satisfy upgrading demand, the government has been increasing its sale of state land since 2021. Including M-Block sites, this has culminated in the largest supply of units in the OCR in 2024 in 11 years at 5583 units. Some of the potential major launches include Champions Way, former Begnal Court, former Chuan Park, Hillhaven, Cassia, Lento Central, Lento Mansion, Lentoria, Luxus Hills, Sora, and Tempini's Avenue 11 integrated mixed-use project. Do note that there may be up to 12 launches in Q1 2024, so it is going to be a busy CNY period coming up. Hague Road, Hillhaven, Lentoria, Lumina Grand EC, the Arcadi at Boon Keng and the Hillshore are slated for launch before the Lunar New Year. And we are expecting Johnson House, Kuhn Seng House, Lentor Mansion, Marina View Residences, Sora and the Hill at 1 North to be slated for launch subsequently. Lumina Grand EC along Bukit Batok, West Avenue 5 is the only EC launch in 2024 and should see strong interest from buyers. 
we are cautiously optimistic of a better performance in the new sale market in 2024. With a rosier economic outlook in 2024, developers are estimated to sell between 7,000 and 8,000 units. The resale market could be muted with sales around 9,000 to 10,000 units, as the high interest rates may keep some buyers at bay. Developers are growing in confidence, as indicated by their willingness to pay more to secure good sites in the past few GLS tenders. Barring unforeseen circumstances, prices in the property market are estimated to grow between 3 to 5% in 2024. Buyers out there could be a bit overwhelmed with the upcoming choices on top of the existing ones in the market. I would strongly suggest that you reach out to someone who is familiar with the market and have the numbers readily on hand to help you analyze the pros and cons of each choice. Many of my YouTube viewers who were initially strangers have already reached out to me and I hope to assist you as you are watching this video as well. Thank you very much PK for the overview of the market this year and the valuable insights for 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still watching this video now, why not give this video a like and subscribe to the Singapore Property TV YouTube channel? Do visit singaporeproperty.tv and get in touch for your real estate needs. This is another creative initiative conceived by PK So, blending technology and facts to bring you another interesting experience, learning more about the Singapore real estate market. We look forward to catching up with you soon. Do share this video and thank you for watching.